to the Geico PBA World Series of Bowling, getting ready for match number two. Scott Norton moves through with a 225-194 victory over Gutsy Fawaz Abdullah. And now Norton will meet Walter Ray Williams Jr. Well, you know, the PBA just keeps evolving. Recently, a new concept in the game was announced, but when team bowling makes its debut on January 27th, it will actually be a link to the game's past. Prior to the professional bowling that fans know today, team bowling was extremely popular in the late 1950s and early 60s, thanks in large part to an all-star team known as the Budweiser's. That team and others like it helped spawn a professional league, which some 50 years later is the inspiration for the PBA's new team concept. Anticipation for the new eight-team bowling league is high, especially from its celebrity owners. NBA all-star Chris Paul, NFL stars Terrell Owens, Lamar Woodley, and Jerome Bettis, comedians Kevin Hart, and Chris Hardwick, whose dad was a Hall of Fame bowler, Billy Hardwick. Recently, at South Point, each of those owners was represented by a franchise player at the first ever PBA League Draft. The eight franchise players are going to be selecting their team for their owners in the next few moments. First up is Hall of Famer Norm Duke, and he's been getting a lot of input from his potential teammates. I've been more popular the last week than ever in my life. I got guys calling me, telling me, man, I'm in great form, striking every shot. They're even giving me their scores in league play. With the first pick in the PBA League Draft, Norm Duke selects Rhino Page. It was certainly an honor when you get somebody like Norm, who's somebody I looked up to my entire life, to say, hey, Rhino, I want you on my team. Joining Norm and Rhino on the Dallas Strikers, the team owned by Terrell Owens, is Hall of Famer Amleto Monicelli, Mike Machuga, and Brian Smith. Four-time PBA titleist Bill O'Neill made Nico Koivinemi his first pick for owner Kevin Hart and the Philadelphia Hitmen. Mike Devaney, Chris Loeschetter, and Dick Allen were also selected by O'Neill. Jerome Bettis was represented by Mike Fagan, who tapped Tom Smallwood, Mike Scroggins, Ronnie Russell, and Jesse Buss to play alongside him on the Motown Muscle. Finnish two-hander Osku Palerma gave the Pittsburgh Jackrabbits an international flavor by choosing Sweden's Martin Larsson, Canada's Dan McClellan, and Denmark's Thomas Larsson to join American Patrick Allen on that team's roster. Jason Belmonte selected Wes Malott, Andres Gomez, Parker Bone III, and Dave Wadka for Chris Paul's LAX team. Chris Barnes picked Englishman Dom Barrett and Stuart Williams to join himself, Josh Blanchard, and Nathan Bohr on Chris Hardwick's Silver Lake Adam Splitters. Two of the eight teams are currently unnamed until their ownership is announced in January. The franchise player for the first of those is Hall of Famer Pete Weber, who chose Tommy Jones, Scott Norton, Jack Jurek, and John Zerbinski to be his teammates. While Sean Rash went with Ryan Simonelli, Ryan Schaefer, Walter Ray Williams Jr., and Jason Sterner to make up his team. A new era in professional bowling begins when PBA League competition kicks off Sunday, January 27th, live from Thunder Bowl Lanes in Detroit. Well, Randy, what's new is old. Team Bowling coming back. Yeah, it's come full circle now. I think it's going to be great for the sport. It's, it's going to be very exciting to get the greatest players in the world teaming up uh, with each other. Uh, I, I look for some great things in the future for professional bowling and for the PBA Tour. All right, we'll talk about great things. Scott Norton has his hands full in this next match with Walter Ray Williams, Jr., the timeless one, seven-time player of the year. It's such a pleasure to watch him bowl. Yeah, it, it really is, and it, you know, a lot, a lot of folks regard him as the greatest player to ever live, and I know that the, there's still a big debate over if, if it really is Walter Ray or if it's Earl Anthony. Uh, Walter Ray was voted the second greatest player to ever live, uh, but he hasn't won in over two and a half years on the big tour. He's won four times on the PBA 50 tour, which formerly was called the Senior Tour, but the Senior Tour and the Young Guys Tour two completely different animals. And Walter Ray Williams knows that all too well. But here he is with another shot at a PBA title. When we come back, it will be Deadeye taking on Scott Norton.